Oh, there was a request for a division of the House on that motion. Todd Dashoff. Mr. Chairman, given the assignment to the UGO committee yesterday, does this preclude the UGO study committee from also coming up with a recommendation on this? <laughs> I don't think Cliff would be that stupid. <laughs> 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 no, uh, the Hugo Study Committee, Hugo Award Study Committee can look at anything in Article 3 and could therefore consider this. But I don't think he'll be well advised to do so. Uh, Judith, I think, no, sorry. Linda. Linda Ross Mansfield. Uh, yes, we've been going fast and it's very hard to keep, keep track of everything. I would like to request the, the chair, when he appoints a person for the committee, ensure that at least one or two people from the previous committee are on it for some continuity. Thank you. I will attempt to do so. First, First we have the question division, whether we want a new subcommittee or a uh, send it to the Hugo's subcommittee. The mo um, those in favour of sending to a new committee, please stand and count off. Which side do you want to start on? Tim, which side do you want to start on? Well, I let the sergeant at arms pick. And don't forget the head table. <laughs> you, you have to say those in favour of amending yes. so the yeah. subsidiary motion passes. We're not actually voting on sending it to a different no, the question was on sending it to the Hugo committee or to a new committee. I want those in favour of sending it to a new committee. No. Those in favour of the amendment. Sorry, it's the way I'm phrasing it. It's not what I... We are not sending it to a committee at this point. We are determining whether a new... Whether, if we send it to somewhere, we send it to a new committee or to the existing committee. The, yeah? You can sit down if you want to. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, Perky. Mr. Chairman, the original motion from the Committee of the Whole was to send it back to the committee who had proposed it. So it, that, that was that was very clearly stated. Yes, but we can amend that. The okay. Such an amendment was made. We are now okay. deciding whether that amendment will be passed or not. Can you? Right. Those in favour, on remi if this is remitted to a committee, those in favour of remitting it to a new committee, please stand and count off. One, two, Up here. 38 up here. Yeah. Wait till the very uh, end or the very beginning. Yeah. Right. Don't do it in the middle. Uh, the head table. 40. 40. <laughs> up there. 41 was it like? 40. 40, I think. Yeah. 41. 41. Thank you. That's the advantage of doing it like this. 41. 4. We'll do the head table last. Yeah. Okay. Those in favour. Should it be remitted to a committee of sending it to the existing Hugo Study Committee, please show and count off. One, two, three, four, five, six. And seven. Yes. Eight, nine, and one, twelve. Yeah, speed up. Thirteen. Thirty-two. Be fourteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. 
So we, if we send this to a committee, it will be a new committee. Now, on the motion to uh, remit D5 and D51 to a new committee, those in favour, please show. Quite a lot. Those against, remission, fewer. The motion is remitted to a new committee to study the question. Do I have a volunteer to take up the burden? Or do I get to pick someone? <laughs> you have two yeah. hands. Who's and Seth is also doing it. Ah, Seth. In many. <laughs> Dave is also raising his hand. Dave, are you a question or are you a volunteer? Dave, I'll take you. I trust you to do a good job. <laughs> was that the committee chair or yes. the committee people? Committee chair. Sign up sheet will be at the front after the meeting. Thank you. And we'll get it to all to Dave. Mr. Terry. I have a question. Dave, who? McCarty, sorry. Thank you. <laughs> Dave McCarty. That concludes that. We have, I believe, one item of business remaining. The, today's spare sheet, Amendment to Standing Rules, D8. Short title, This Belong in, Constitu in the Constitutional Amendment, um, which does uh, things that Ben and Chris attempted to do yesterday as part of an existing motion. It's come back as a separate motion because it was not germane to the original. Mr. Gallo, would you care to speak to this? What's the time on this? Uh, whoops, set, let's set five minutes on this. Any objection to five minutes? Seeing none, it's five minutes. As I indicated yesterday, I do not believe that the standing rules can really bind a Worldcon committee, except where the Constitution explicitly makes it clear that they are bound by the standing rules. So that in this motion, I explicitly make it clear that the Worldcon is bound by Standing Rule 2.1 when picking their w deadline for when they get their reports in. Uh, it has also been noted that there is a question as to the change in, four point, in SR 4.4. Uh, would go into effect next year. No, it would not. Uh, chairman ruled uh, in 2005, in fact, it was Mr. Illingworth at the time, that where there is a dependency with a constitutional amendment and a standing rules change, that the standing rules change is packaged in and therefore you can get them both or you can get none of them, but you can't get the standing rules changed without the constitutional amendment. Basically, what I'm s trying to do is remind people that world cons get bound by the Constitution. The business meeting binds the business meeting and the subsidiary committees that the business meeting creates. So we can set our own rules for anything we feel like except we don't control committees except through the Constitution. And this amendment puts it into the Constitution that the Worldcon committees shall be bound by the deadline, which otherwise, while our current Constitution asserts they are, they really aren't. Thank you. Speech against? Mr. Bloom. Mr. Chairman, I'm Kent Bloom. Um, I'm not convinced that it's a good